Right. Go. Wow. The Tenant Flux Rifle is a variant of the Flux Rifle and you can get it from the Sister of Parvo system. So let's take a look on the stats. The original Flux Rifle is a beam weapon, but now things have changed a little bit. This is now a rifle, fully auto, and we got some increased stats, but reduced critical multiplier and a little bit more of reload time from 1, one second to 1.8. We've got more status chance, more critical chance, more accuracy, but yeah. And a huge magazine. And there's actually quite a lot of fire rate too. So this weapon is actually a beast. Let me show you what the the first build is gonna do. But let's let me show the first build. This is the first build. It's galvanized build. I don't have a better arcane than this to use. And it's gonna be quite hard to to trigger it, but I'm gonna talk about that in a in a, in a few few seconds or maybe a minute, so let's go. At first it's not gonna look like much. This is your standard viral viral heat and hunter munition build. But once that galvanized mods get going, oh my god. Pretty darn good. And turn a fire rate. Look at this dude. Oh my god. <laughs> the reload you won't even feel like a lot. I think I haven't felt actually a lot, but I'm not using any fire rate mode, so I think that's just okay to me. Uh, yeah, I think I was not able to trigger the arcane there. Let me try again. The thing is, you're gonna have a problem with headshot mods or arcanes, headshot trigger arcanes, because there is a ton of slash being applied and most of the times you're gonna be killing stuff with the slash instead of the headshot but it happens sometimes sometimes so sometimes you can get the headshot it's not gonna be every time you're gonna kill with the, with the bleeds but look at that oh my god just melted this dude one more time now that we have the, the arcane going no buffs at all nothing changing our damage at all with the pure weapon mods and the arcane insane ton of lead wow it's dead already so i've got innate heat on mine i think it works fine would not change for anything else let me show you what the corrosive field can do Gonna, results are going to be quite similar, but because we, are, we deal more corrosive damage to these guys, but the bleeds are not going to be as strong. And yeah, the main thing of this weapon is bleed, so I do recommend going with Pyro. You can build corrosive for going like against heavy infested units, or I don't know if you want to go against high level Rainier with corrosive, you can do it. But or even corrupted, but that's up to you. You can always make your, your own builds. And landing those headshots with corrosive is gonna be easier than actually not landing, but killing with uh, head corrosive as your elementals. Killing with headshots is gonna be easier. Last build I want to show is using bladed rounds, and instead of the galvanized one, but. I'm not sure, results are kind of similar. We're gonna see it, it's testing this for quite some time. Results are gonna look quite similar, but the thing is, I tried Galvanized Scope, like the Galvanized Argon Scope. Uh, it was kind of hard to trigger the Arcane. Uh, not the Arcane, the mod, but I'm gonna show you a bit, just so you can have an idea of how it works. Still melt stuff, just fine. I'm not sure. I think I still prefer the first build with the viral and heat and her terminations. Uh, you can 
take this off. I, I think we're actually missing a lot by not using the galvanized aptitude. Before I start with this, I'm gonna change to the dead hand arcane. So let's see how it's gonna go. On. Actually, with the wrong arcane. Now it's all good. We're gonna be getting pretty much guaranteed headshot crits. Like, only a few will not be critical at the start. As you can see, it's kinda hard to get those headshot kills. Here we got one. Look at the damage! Like, wow! And then another one there. Let's try some more dudes. Maybe, maybe in a during a mission, it's not gonna be as hard as here. But I'm not I'm not sure. The moment you're gonna miss a lot of your headshots or headshot kill is if you have to reload after you you shot sometimes because. The reload, by the time you're reloading, the bleed procs are probably gonna kill your, your dude. So, uh, yeah, I still prefer the first build. Let's try adding some, some buffs. Let's go with our Corrosive Rejection, our Arcane Avenger. I don't have an Arcane for our primary. Uh, yeah, primary charger, bleed. Yeah, I don't have a, a really good Arcane for that don't think it's gonna it would make a big difference to use the arcane rage i have on headshot oh, okay let's try it anyway it's gonna be bad but whatever let's call our crit cat trusty critical button cats and yeah with some of the dudes okay i'm starting again some of the dudes around seven seconds and that will be around five seconds to get the uh, the maximum damage, probably. Alright, go! Wow. <laughs> wow, just wow. Yeah. I mean, it's still your average rifle, but it's cool. And it has that innate bonus damage from the Lich system. Oh, uh, that's what that's with Harrow. Let's see. Well, it's not gonna be anything like crazy with Mirage. It's probably gonna be a, a lot of bullets. Cause that's, there's nothing else going on. More damage, more, more stuff. Yeah, bullet holes. Okay, powerful enough. Uh, I usually like to run mag, but we're not gonna see any anything crazy here, I think. Yeah, nothing crazy. I mean, like, it's cool to have a... Uh, the flux rifle in is not as a beam weapon. It is, it is interesting because it's something new, but the flux rifle was cool. Maybe having a, I mean, maybe they didn't want to have another beam weapon, Kuva beam weapon, or something like that. Yeah. I think that's about it for now. That's nothing much else to talk about this weapon. It is a good weapon, uh, your standard rifle. Not a lot of reload time, good magazine, a lot of fire rate, a lot of slash. It's a good recipe, actually. That's about it. For more art from content, subscribe to the channel, and if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. Also, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Oh, hello there. You're here until the very end. I'd like to say something a little different for 
a few people so now that you're here let me show you something extra that we can use flux overdrive this is a mod dropped from enemies on the index and <laughs> look at the change on status that's about yeah more than 100 percent status percent increase not sure if this is gonna work as the mod suggests but it is a massive increase to our status chance so let me show you what this can do with nothing extra only the mods and the arcane how better or worse it is compared to the other builds i'm not sure it is just something very interesting to use still kind of hard to get the, the headshots probably even harder now just a lot going on. Maybe I should change the arcade. Let's put the, the on kill one. Yeah, that's just a little extra I wanted to show to those who stay until the very end, which are only a few people. Bye!